What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing an ultimate Davids review slash build slash breakdown slash deep dive showing you the best skills everything. We did spin for him on our live stream. We had to go pretty deep for Davids. Davids was I think with 40 spins left. Huge shout out to the lads on the live stream who helped us spin as well. But yeah I mean Davids is a beast lads but the problem is as I keep saying I already have Makalele, so that's who we're going to be comparing him with. He definitely is a beast, he's wearing the glasses, he's got the x-ray vision, and of course he does have a lot of nice attributes and stats about him. Like, I do feel like he's a really good card, but again, it's overshadowed by a lot of beastly cards in the game. A lot of people will point to the fact that he's quite a short DMF, um, so that's going to be something as well that you need to kind of have somebody beside him, but we'll get into it. But in terms of his like good parts about his game, there's a lot to like about him. Essentially, the way I look at defensive players is the less you see of them, the better, because if you're seeing a lot of your interceptions and a lot of blocks and a lot of, you know, being under a lot of pressure, that means that you're playing against a good opponent or it's a bad matchup or you're under pressure. And like, usually you want your attacking players to be on more possessions than your defensive, defensive players. But David's kind of slotted in as a DMF. Once he's blocking the ball, once he's getting interceptions, once he's getting you back chances and double possessions, is that you have a possession, you go on an attack, you lose it, and then you go again after winning it back. This is where I would definitely play Davids, is covering all this area that you're seeing here. If you have an anchorman or you've got a deep sitting DMF with him that can cover a lot of ground. So you're talking about maybe Rodri, deep sitting, or Casemiro, or Declan Rice, or maybe you're talking right card and Vieira, depending on the personnel that you have at your squad. This is the build we've gone for with Davids. Now, it's very, very, very defensive, obviously. We're going to have huge defensive stats, but we're also going to have massive acceleration. This is something that I wanted to test out. I would probably take down maybe the acceleration to about 88, uh, maybe even 80, 80, 87, uh, but I did want his balance quite high, and, you know, the attacking awareness isn't a big deal. We've gone for 0, 0.5, 6, 5 into decks. You could take that decks down to maybe 2 even, two or three because you're still going to be getting the manual boost or the manager boost. 14 into defending is where you're really going to see Davids just absolutely mop up every blade of grass and really cover a lot of ground. We'll get to the skills towards the end of the video. You guys seem to enjoy towards the end of the video, just throwing the skills in as a kind of a, a recap. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's got everything on the tin. I mean, everything that he says he is, he is. I mean, and he's definitely a big kind of comparison with Makalele. I won't say that he's an upgrade over Makalele. He's slightly more defend or slightly more attacking. Makalele, I think, is probably the best destroyer DMF in the game because he's taller than Davids. He's still mobile. He's still got that acceleration, but he's got huge stamina and massive defensive stats. So if you do have Makalele, a lot of people talking about Kante as well. A lot of people still enjoying using Kante except for his uh, form, but I definitely think Makalele you know, if you have him, Davids is really a luxury item because they're so similar. They cover a lot of the same areas. They're both able to bring the ball forward. Just because Davids and Makalele have got huge defensive stats, boys, it doesn't mean that you can't bring the ball forward with them. Any player can bring the ball forward. You know, if you're looking for a DMF or you're looking for a destroyer or you're looking for a player that's going to be able to do this role, all you need to really focus on is them being able to cover a lot of ground. That's all you need them to be able to cover. We were looking for Kante here, but if you have Ambrosini, if you have any of these guys that can do that job and cover box to box or else cover as a destroyer role, that is going to be something that I think a lot of people will like with Davids, especially if you're used to playing with this Kante. We haven't this Kante trained up, but this is how he compares at a level one. It's a box to box versus a destroyer. I think Davids slightly beats Kante just for his player AI. Obviously, that could be nerfed or boosted depending on or buffed depending on the next couple of weeks. Kante is still a great option. Makalele is still a great option. But Davids can still pass. He's still able to start counterattacks. He's still able to add to the attacking game. I definitely feel he is a really, really good player. I was very surprised with him. I mean, just how much ball he blocks. And not even if he gets on the, on the end of something, but it's just that the minute he gets the ball at his feet, when you have a shorter player on, the, on, on your squad and you come into possession... The ball is just more mobile. It's more, you know, you're able to get rid of the ball quicker. And especially if you have Davids and you do a lot of manual covering, Davids can really excel in that role for you. Now, as I said, you can still pass, you can still dribble, you can still shoot, but it's all about turnover of possession and giving yourself extra chances. And when you get the ball at your feet, just simply pass it away to your other players. That's what I always do to start a counter attack. So yeah, 
I definitely give him a thumbs up, but if you do have Makalele, I don't think you really need to go for him. We've also thrown on these skills. Low lofted one touch for the passing gamesmanship for winning a few frees. Even though his balance is quite high, he can go down quite easily sometimes. Aerial superiority, obviously because he's quite short, that will help you with his jump. And true passing if you want. There's a load of different skills that you can give him, but he has all the defensive skills that you could possibly want. Let me know what you guys think of Davis. This is the ultimate review of him. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button if you're a beast. And we'll see you at the next one.